Hi, this is JJ at CCBC. In this video, we'll look at how to rotate objects in your Flash animations. The major topics we'll cover are the Transform panel and the Free Transform tool. The software I'm using is Adobe Flash Creative Suite version 6 on a Mac. So, quick review the four steps for all our animations are create a vector shape, convert to a symbol, apply a motion tween, then apply a change. So, let's do that. Here's an empty Flash project. I'm going to zoom in so I can see a little bit better. And what I thought I'd do is rotate a star this time. So I thought that'd be a nice object for rotating. So we'll go to the Poly Star tool. We'll click our options. And uh, we'll use, let's just use the default five pointed star instead of a polygon and hit OK. So now I can uh, click and drag, try to make it as level as possible. That looks really good. So there's my star. I'm going to select my shape and right click to convert it to a symbol. So convert to symbol, give it a name. I'm just going to call it star. Type movie clip, hit OK. So now I've got my symbol created. I'm going to center it on the stage a little bit better, I think. There we go. And now we need to apply my motion tween. So right click on the first key keyframe, create motion tween. Stretch this out to 100 frames so it's nice and long. And now I need to apply my change. So I'm going to use the free transform tool and I'm just going to rotate this 360 degrees. So quick 360 degree rotation and we're good to go. So if we test this movie, it doesn't work. All right, now why didn't it work? Well, the problem is Flash doesn't see a change in position. So if we go back and we look at this, the first keyframe, it's at a rotation of zero degrees. The last keyframe, it's at a rotation of zero degrees. So as far as Flash is concerned, there's no difference from the first keyframe to the last keyframe when we use the free transform tool. So to overcome this, we're going to switch over to the transform panel. And here we can actually hard code a rotation in uh, just by typing in a value. So I'm going to click on rotate and just type 360. And note, I'm on my last keyframe. So I'm setting my rotation to 360. I'll hit enter. Visually nothing changes, but now I'm at 360 degrees. So if I test my movie again, command return, now I have a nice rotating star. Okay, so we're going from 0 degrees to 360 degrees back to the beginning and it just keeps rotating forever and ever. So let's close that. I want to show you one more technique that's a little bit more advanced. So rather than having an object that rotates, what if I want an object to rotate around another object? So let's make a new flash file. We'll just accept the defaults. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm actually going to change my background color. This is going to be outer space. And I'm going to create a planet. Let's do a, uh, a red planet. I guess this will be Mars. And I'm going to switch to my oval tool. And here I'm going to make my planet right in the middle of my outer space. I'm going to drag this roughly to the center. OK. So I have one object. I'm not going to animate this object, so I don't need to convert it to a symbol. It can exist as a vector shape. I do need to make a new layer for my animation. So I'm going to insert a new layer down here. And in my new layer, I'm going to make another circle. This is going to be a moon. So I'm going to pick a shade of gray. Let's do a nice light moon. And we'll draw it out here. So we'll draw a nice moon. There we go. That's pretty good. Now this is the object I want to animate. So I'm going to double click it. I'm going to right click, convert it to a symbol because that's what I want to animate. I want this moon to orbit my red planet. So I'm going to call this the moon. It's a movie clip and I'll hit OK. So there's my symbol. Um, I need to create a motion tween. So I'm going to right click, create motion tween. And you'll notice it gives me 24 frames. I'm going to stretch that out to 100. But you'll notice my planet disappeared. Now what happened there? Let's take a look at our timeline for a second. You notice layer one, my planet only exists on frame one in my timeline. If I move the playhead to frame two, it disappears and it's gone on all of the other frames. Um, on layer two, this is where my moon exists. So you can see my moon exists on every single frame 
throughout my timeline. So what I want to do is get my planet to also exist all the way out to this point. And that's easy to do. Just right click and insert a regular frame. You can use a keyframe if you want to, but we're not animating this, so we're just going to use a regular frame. And you'll notice it fills all of those frames up with my red planet. So now this will be good for my animation. So now the last thing I want to do is rotate my moon all the way around the planet. So um, I can try using the free transform tool. I'll select the object I want to rotate and I'll go to rotate it. Oops, I missed. So we'll go to rotate it and you'll notice I'm actually rotating it around its center point. And that's not really helping us, so let's not do that. What we need to do is move the point around which it's going to rotate and I'm going to center that on my red planet. Okay, so now when I do my rotations, it's going to go around the planet. But we saw before, if I use the free transform tool to change position, it's not going to work very well. So I'm going to use the transform panel here. And I'm going to set it to 360. Brings it all the way around back to its original position. And now we can test our movie. Command return. And there we have our moon orbiting the red planet. Nice and smooth, no hard work, no extra um, adjusting our motion path like we did in the arc videos where I'd have to really work to make a, a nice smooth circular animation. So there's a couple techniques you can do for rotating objects. I hope you learned something. See you in the next video.